all right we're still in the process of setting up our teaming and remember that you don't really have to go this um, extent if um, you don't really want to um, this is an advanced um, section and uh, the aim of this section is just to teach you how to customize your bootstrap so that you don't get to use the default colors the default design the default spacing the default models and all so um, you don't really have to um, go through this extent but if you really want to be a front end developer with um, bootstrap 4 this is the um, what to learn all right the first thing you have to do is to create this file it's just inside your bootstrap folder create the file call it um look at where it is uh gob file dot j just call it gob file dot js create it then open it and then you will see uh this code you have to type out this code exactly so you should pause this video and type it out or if you don't want to type it out you can go straight to my github and copy and paste you go to github.com slash dave ozalod that's my name on github so when you're there you can check the repository for this project just copy the code and paste directly so when it's open you can click on repositories so once you click on repositories you can uh, click on this bootstrap for udemy clone this is what we are looking for so when you click on it uh, I've not added the I've not pushed the golf file but you should see the golf file here click on it then uh, copy the code all right now the next thing we're going to do is to quickly delete this button because we don't really need it we've used it to demonstrate models that we needed before but we don't need it now so it is written uh, launch demo model so I'll go to my index just to delete it out launch demo exactly I've seen it so this is the whole model I'm removing it we don't need it so it was just for demonstration in the previous video all right uh refresh good now the next thing we're gonna do is to run some installations the next the first one is we need to open our command prompt on this folder so open your bootstrap 4 folder uh, hold your shift key if you're on windows right click and then you click on on this or wherever you want to click i have my git bash install so i use it any command prompt you have on your system is okay even load command prompt now the first thing we have to do is to run npm install gulp gulp is what will help us to see the concept is uh we're going to write code and we want that code to automatically be recompiled so this is not normal css if you look at if you look at what we have here node module um where am i looking for um right here you see that it is it's not normal css it is it is scss so this is uh, to tell you that after writing the css let's say you write one two three code you understand it still has to recompile back to css so uh we want to write a, an automatic function that will always check out this file whenever we make any little edit this in this file it will recompile and create a normal css file in this folder so we change we write code here this this uh, function or this whatever we wrote here will, will automatically detect that we've written a new code then it will build a new css file here this css file here is what our bootstrap will be using all right okay so now you understood it you've understood it we have to install gulp so we do npm install g gulp okay before then just make sure that just to make sure that your npm is working just type npm um i'm trying to expand it so you can see so type npm dash v hit enter if if uh, your npm is installed and running well it will show you um it will show you uh, the correct um, number it will show you a number here this is the version of my npm all right so the next one is we're going to install go command line so npm install dash g this is for global gulp cli so you run this i've already installed it make sure you have internet connectivity and um, make sure it works well now this method i'm teaching you 
might not be specified in the bootstrap uh, web page so um, if you go to get bootstrap.com and um, guess see me this is what we're looking for get bootstrap.com you will see that um, the method they specified the I don't even think they met and specify the method there so if you're reading if you're trying to learn bootstrap from the bootstrap documentation and you're trying to learn theming it may not work because um, you, it may not be obvious to you that you need to install gulp it, it was not mentioned there all right so that's why this video is interesting and uh, important so if you visit bootstrap get bootstrap on under getting started click on theming then you get to read uh, what is here uh, if you read through you see that there is no mention of gulp nobody will tell you that it has to be manually com it has to be automatically compiled all right so now your installation is done you're going to install gulp so npm install g gulp so once that is done you open this file this file is um this gulp file then you have to install everything here see uh this is what i mean this one is npm install gulp you see so we now have to start doing for each of them npm install gulp dash sas after this one has run npm install gulp dash source maps you have to do them one by one until they are done then after that npm install gulp clean css and so on until you install this one is npm install auto prefixer there's no gulp there auto prefixer so this is the last one you install once you install this then you're good to go all right so um i i will, I will stop this video here so that we can uh, continue in the next video and the next video is the final step and uh, you'll be amazed at what we'll end up with thank you very much see you